Hey, 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 welcome back to another Tech Support Spy video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. As always, we appreciate you watching. We are close, or at least we are on the road to get 270 subscribers. We're not close, but we are moving forward to getting to that 270 YouTube subscribers for this channel. As I mentioned from my other videos, that once we get to 270 subscribers, we will give out a $100 Amazon gift card to a random tech support spy subscribers so make sure you're telling others about tech support spy tell them to subscribe click that notification bell and as always we ask for all viewers to like comment and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to tech support spies channel okay so you're probably wondering hey this guy's wearing a, a harley davidson motorcycle t-shirt yes i'm wearing a harley Davy davidson motorcycle t-shirt i don't have any new tech support spy gear so i, I got the order I'm waiting for the shipment to come in with new tech support spy gear so that when I do these videos, I have new tech support spy apparel to be shown on these videos that I do. But yes, I'm, I'm wearing a tech support spy uh, hat with a Harley Davidson t-shirt, which does not match. Uh, there's no affiliation between tech support spy and Harley Davidson. I'm just a avid motorcyclist. I, I have a Harley, I've been riding Harley for years. Uh, start out on a sport bike. Here's a picture of my sport bike. That sport bike picture is old. Like, I don't even have a beard in that picture. And then I shifted over from a sport bike over to a Harley. And here's a picture of my Harley right now. And I love riding Harley motorcycles. I've ridden Indians. I've ridden Yamahas. And riding a motorcycle is like one of the best feelings in the world when you're riding a motorcycle. It's really very enjoyable. Uh, if you are watching this video and you have not ridden a motorcycle, go to a class or go to some type of place that will kind of show you how to ride a motorcycle and get that experience and feeling of riding a motorcycle. Uh, but shout out to all my Harley riders, my hog owners, uh, and shout out to all the motorcyclists, whether you are riding uh, a Harley, a sport bike, whatever you are riding, you know, stay safe, ride safe and keep riding so yes i ride motorcycles so no matter what you think of you know uh my my bad jokes my corny jokes behind those bad and corny jokes there's a cool individual that rides motorcycles and no matter what you may think of my bad jokes and some people think they're bad and some people think they're funny as long as you are entertained and you're learning from my videos that's all that matters and we appreciate you watching our tech support spot videos all right, so uh, one of the things that, as I've mentioned in previous videos, you know, uh, I love to teach, I love to share information, I love to share knowledge. This video is going to show you how to get your Windows 11, and you can use it for Windows 10, to get your product key. A little bit different nowadays, you know, back in the day, we used to have CDs that will have our uh, Windows 11 or Windows operating system uh, installation disk with our product key on it. No longer like that nowadays. Uh, nowadays, it's a different setup when it comes to your Windows license key. You no longer get those CDs. So we're gonna talk about how you can get your Windows 11, or you can use this method for Windows 10, how you can get your product key. And we're gonna show you something today. So let's uh, let's get let's get busy here. Let's get busy here. So, uh, 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 I thought that was funny. Anyway, let's dive into the video, shall we? All right, guys, let's dive into this. So what you're looking at is the Microsoft App Store and what the App Store looks like. Should be an icon on Windows 10 and Windows 11. It looks like a suitcase with the uh, Windows pane, the four squared window pane within the middle of it. It looks like a suitcase from Microsoft. If you click on that, will open up the Microsoft App Store. And these app stores, they're around, like, you know, you have the Apple App Store on the iPhone or the iPad. You have the Google uh, App Store on your Chrome OS, if it's a Chromebook or an Android. So these app stores are around. You can get certain apps. They can help you use uh, uh, your computer and do certain features and things or certain games, right? You can download certain game apps uh, with these app stores. But in the Microsoft App Store, if you're wanting to find out what your Windows product key is, you want to use a certain app. And that app is called Show Key Plus. Key. Oh, I 
can't spell. So, okay, so show key plus, right? I've already searched it. So you see there, this is the app. So as it comes up, right, it, you want to make sure you look at the logo, right? This is how the logo looks for this particular app. It's called Show Key Plus, right? And once the app comes up, right, you want to go ahead and hit install. And it's going to download and install that particular app. So as you are, you know, looking at the app store and want to make sure you are downloading the right Show Key Plus app, make sure it looks like this, right? And if you need to refer back to this video as you're, you know, I'm assuming you may try to mirror these steps, come back to the Tech Support Spy video and, you know, Scroll to where you get to this point where you see the logo and you can make sure you have downloaded the right Show Key Plus app from the Microsoft, Microsoft App Store. <laughs> I said Microsoft, Microsoft. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it has downloaded and it has installed and now we want to open it up. We're going to open up this app. And as it opens up, it gives you your Windows product information. And it gives you what your installed product key is there. Of course, I've you know blocked out what my product key is, but nowadays your product key is no longer on a CD. Nowadays, when you buy a a computer, a pre-built computer from whichever retailer, the product key is digitized on the motherboard. Right, so the product key is digitized on the motherboard and you're not able to retrieve it. You don't have a, a CD that has that product key. Nowadays, if you need to find a product key, one of the ways to do that is to use this Show Key Plus app to find out what's your product key for your Windows installation. Now, one thing to remember that, you know, when you go to reinstall your Windows, because it's digitized on the same motherboard that you are reinstalling Windows on, you're able to, Windows is gonna automatically pick up that product key and activate your, your Windows license. Now, for you guys who like to experiment and like to do custom builds or change out motherboards on pre-built HPs or Dell computers and you wonder why your Windows won't activate, is because you switched out the motherboard. Remember, the Windows product key nowadays is digitized on the motherboard. It's basically embedded in the motherboard. So if you switch out the motherboard and put a new motherboard into your Dell, HP, or uh, MSI, or whatever type of pre-built computer, you're swapping out the motherboards. That means your product key for Windows is gone. So when you install a new motherboard and you boot up your system or you reinstall Windows from scratch, you don't have a product key because that product key for your Windows version was on that motherboard that you threw away. So definitely be careful with putting in new motherboards into your pre-built PC because your Windows product key is digitized on your motherboard. So uh, I would recommend any PC user, when you first buy a computer from whichever retailer, if it's Micro Center, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, wherever you get a pre-built computer, HP, Dell, MSI, you know, whatever computer you purchase. First thing I recommend for you to do, go into the Microsoft App Store, download the Show Key Plus app, and get your installed product key. So that if you ever go back later, right, and reinstall Windows, which Windows will automatically pick up, that product key off your motherboard. But if you switch out motherboards and you reinstall Windows, you now have the product key for your Windows version. And make sure you have the right version, right? You can't go in and reinstall Windows and install Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro when your license key was for Windows 11 Home or Windows 10 Home. So make sure that you, if you do reinstall Windows, that the product key that you end up getting or capturing or storing from using the Show Key Plus that you're reinstalling the same Windows version that the product key is for. All right, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I hope this was informative to you. Please like and comment if you have not subscribed. Subscribe to Tech Support Spy. 
tell others about tech support spy tell them to subscribe we are trying to get to 270 subscribers tell your family your friends your pets your dog your grass your tree your, even your your i don't know tell your car if you got a sonata or something tell your car about tech support spy <laughs> tell everybody about tech support spy help this channel grow and again thank you for watching thank you for watching Support Spy.